Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the full moon of May 15th, where we have the sun in the very first edge of the constellation of Taurus and the moon directly across the way, the very beginning of the edge of the scorpion. And the sun also stands with the north node of the moon and the moon conjunct the south node of the moon which means that this is a lunar eclipse. This eclipse will be visible for most of us in the United States at 8.30 Mountain Time and will progress until it's completely finished at midnight. So let's drop in to find out what the stars want us to know for this full moon. So immediately I feel the quality of threshold as sun sits between that place between Aries and Taurus and the moon between Libra and Scorpio and that both of these characters both of these constellations that we're moving into of Taurus and Scorpio are in of themselves keepers of wisdom of thresholds this axis is that of life and death of the impulse to become becoming clothed in matter, manifest here on earth. And the quality of eventually that container losing vitality and spirit again slips out, leaving matter back where it began. I'm drawn to speak about the nodes. Now what this is, is a place in the sky, not an object. The north node of the moon marks the place in the heavens where the orbit of the sun intersects with the orbit of the moon. And this crossroads is a threshold and it opens a portal into realms that transcend the single life. Here we are connecting into the chain of lives, our own perhaps, or even that of our ancestral line. And as you might have suspected, not only does this portal open to the past, but it helps us chart a trajectory into the future. What we will pass on to those for whom we will be an ancestor, passing on to those for whom we are a past life. We know that we live within a time of great change with a lot of the things that we're used to crumbling and we're not sure what's next. It is in to this moment that this full moon light shines. We are asked to lay the past to rest, that which is outworn and used up is to be let go of. And we pour our vitality into new forms, new ways of being. We can do this with the assistance of the bull, perhaps being a little slower than usual, taking our time we let our body and its wisdom help us to. And I get it. There is so much going on right now from all directions. And so much of our awareness is pulled to realms that are perhaps beyond our control. It's easy to just soldier on and not deal with the things that are wilting, that are expired, that are molding over in our lives. Come back from expanded places to that which is actually within your physical, emotional, psychic influence. Come back to center your own body 
How do you feel? Do you even know? Can you find your breath? What is your body asking for now? I know it's not as easy as I'm making it sound, yet forces are aligned to assist you. That's how this works. And listen, listen for the future that's calling you. We are each part of a long chain of humanity, striving and evolving, creating and building. What are you creating? Where are you putting that life force? How might you use your strength, your sovereignty, your wisdom, your power towards the new, towards letting that which is done be done. As we cross this threshold out of the past and into, yes, the unknown future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.